and we use uh, 80. You can't tell me we can't get enough recharge in a bad year where you're only getting six inches. You're still getting 200 and uh, you know 20,000 acre feet of water, and we use 80. Even in a bad year, we should be able to get recharge. So, but bad years are gonna uh, is when you're gonna take more out because you're not getting the same rainfall. So you're gonna irrigate more, or you're gonna use more for other reasons. And then during the wet years, you want to recharge more, and you're gonna use less on those things because you're getting more precipitation and better thing. So, being a good steward of the land, taking care of the watershed, adjusting your your things where you're making a benefit. There's no reason to grow any crop if even in the state of California, and I hate picking on wine grapes. I got nothing against wine grapes. I got nothing against wine. Uh, alfalfa uses more, but I need that too to feed cattle sometimes. But if, if you're going to leave 10% of your crop hanging on the plant and you're just irrigating to drop stuff, what benefit is, what benefit is that? And if you can't sell the product because we have we don't have the desire as much anymore as other crops, I would think you'd want to change to, to do something that would bring more money. When I don't have enough hay, Debbie will tell you, she's in the cattle business too. Uh, you don't have enough feed, you got to get rid of some of your cattle unless you want to spend a lot of money to try to feed them, to keep them. And you might do that for a short time, but you're not going to do that for a long time because it, it don't pencil out. So when, when times are good again, you're gonna maybe you're gonna keep back some of your calves, some of your heifers, or whatever, and increase your herd again because everything goes in cycles. It, it's not a hundred percent flat line all the time. Otherwise, we'd never have to make these kind of decisions or have these problems. 